landed in Denver. Uh, I'm here for the Black Love Mural Festival. Uh, it's my first out of town mural festival. I'm really excited. And, you know, it should be pretty tight, man. Uh, I'm excited to get the painting. Okay, I uh, got to the rental car place and they wouldn't let me rent the car because I don't have a credit card. No soup for you! Um, I've always ever rented a car with my debit card, so a little bit more stressful than I wanted it to be this morning, but I'm in a car now and uh, yeah, let's do this thing. But first I saw this beacon as I was headed into downtown from the airport. I had to stop. And this place is massive. This is the biggest comic book store I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> They had so many gems, like, you know, autograph Stan Lee, every action figure you could imagine, original Todd McFarlane art. So if you're ever in the Denver area, make sure you hit Mile High Comics. This isn't sponsored, it was just a super cool spot. It is stunningly beautiful here in Denver. The weather is gorgeous. The city is exceptionally clean. Um, yeah, I gotta go find my wall and see which wall I'm painting, but we're getting it in. Um, got checked into the hotel. I'm gonna rest a little bit and get back on the road and try to go get supplies and paint and get started on this mural because I got three murals I gotta do over the course of the next four, five days. They're not that big, but it's still three different murals. So we'll hit it hard here in a minute, but I'm gonna sit here, gather my, my thoughts, figure out what the hell I'm gonna do next. It's been quite a long time since I've been 100% able to schedule my own trip. I'm so used to having to coordinate with other people I need to sit down and actually come up with a game plan since it's just me and I gotta figure out the most efficient way to do this. A local business donated spray paint to the festival artist. So the first stop was to go to Be Good, a dispensary that also sells spray paint to pick up the donated paint. With this being one of my first out of town murals, one of the things that I figured out pretty quickly is that you don't have the luxury of having all your tools and supplies at your disposal. The biggest hurdle is you can't fly with aerosol paint. Unless you have somewhere to ship it to, you have to buy all your supplies once you arrive. That means sourcing spray paint all over the city. So I ended up hitting every art store in Denver trying to find spray paint, only to find out that the one closest to my hotel had everything that I needed in the first place. Congratulations, you played yourself. I'm about to start mural number one. Uh, my brother's here from Virginia. What up? He's gonna be helping me out today so we can knock out as much of this as possible in one day. Let's go time. Five Points is a historic neighborhood near downtown Denver that housed most of Denver's black population through most of the 20th century. Five Points became an absolute staple and almost a mecca for any artist who was traveling west on their tours, especially jazz. It had become so popular nationally that it earned the nickname Harlem of the West. So you saw the likes of people like Duke Ellington, Billie Holiday, Ella Fitzgerald, Thelonious Monk, and Miles Davis. And that's why I chose Miles Davis for my mural for this area. Day two of the Miles Davis mural here in Five Points. Um, yeah, should finish today.
That's a wrap on mural number one, headed to do the second one. I didn't know it got this hot in Denver. Um, it is burning up. So I gotta go to work or something and get a tent. Uh, Cause it is just way too hot to work in this direct sunlight. So gotta go figure the tent situation out. Fun. Three hours later. Um, so I'm super frustrated. Um, I had to do some running around. It was just too hot out here today and I had to go get a tent and a chair and some other materials. And by the time I got back, the sun was just coming over, uh, coming over my wall. So it's, it's casting weird shadows here on the wall so that I can't really see what I'm laying down. And basically today is a wash. I didn't get to paint as much as I wanted to today. So even though I finished the mural this morning, I feel like I lost a, a whole day of work. I still have tomorrow and Sunday uh, to finish everything but who knows how that's gonna go if, if i have to be done before five o'clock every day when the sun comes over my wall and makes it impossible to see so we'll try this again tomorrow as frustrated as i was i calmed down went ahead and put the sketch up today so that'd be one less thing that i had to do So my sprayer's not working, um, so I gotta roll this which is super annoying, because I was trying to save time and, and, and wasting time trying to make this shit work, so. Yeah. After I got back to the hotel last night, I realized I didn't really like the light color background, so I just went ahead and changed into a darker background. <laughs> Putting up a darker background means I needed to do new doodles for my sketch. Finally got a little bit of cloud cover, so I might be able to actually knock this out today. Uh, the heat might not get to me before I have to call it quits. Yeah, it's, it's, I'll say it's pretty decent for one day of work. Uh, come back tomorrow, finish it. I have one more mural to do tomorrow after I finish this one before I head out of town. So hopefully I have time to do both. Hopefully the weather is nice. Hopefully it's overcast so that I don't have to be sweating uh, profusely. I know y'all are tired of hearing me talk about how hot it is, but I'm just blown away. I was not expecting Denver to be this hot. second mural is done ish I'm gonna go knock out the third mural and if I have more time I'm gonna come back and refine this a little bit more but I'm at least happy with where it is at this point so that if you know people are taking pictures of it or I don't get to finish I'm in a good spot where I'm okay with it if it has to live this way 
One of the things that I was really excited about coming to this mural festival was meeting all the other artists and the potential to network and maybe collaborate with those artists. But unfortunately, because the window for creating the murals was over two months long, there just weren't many artists out working while I was working. The final day, there were a lot more people working than there had been the previous few days. But because I was under such a time crunch, I didn't really get to spend as much time talking to everyone as I wanted to. Got it done. I'm surprised and it's basically finished. There's a few things I need to touch up and clean up, but I did it. If you like this video and want to see more like it, consider liking and subscribing here on YouTube. And also follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of my work pretty real time. And as always, ask yourself, what have I done today to help me live my dreams tomorrow? I'll see you on the next one.